hair is freaking moving like yo is this a wig or not is this my real hair or not nah? you do the guess And welcome back to my channel it's your girl Shin for those who are new thank you so much we are almost at 1,000 subscribers guys come on get me there we'll be having my giveaway anyhow so today I'm back with products that I've been using in this curly kinky hair that I have going on here love it no one knows it's not my real hair so shh, it's a secret so I only use four things well actually five things in my hair to be honest in this hair yeah my things in this video I'll be just sharing with you the things that I use but in another video I think I'm just gonna be showing you a routine of how I prep this hair for the night and it's pretty easy guys it's pretty easy this hair is so easy it's so blendable and it's so easy and guess what it's a u-part wig so I can take it off when not at night because I actually sewed it onto my head well around the perimeter of my head but it's easy to remove to say it's not sewed on but it's easy to remove so the five things that I use are of course I use my um, Moroccan oh no this is oxygen or is it Moroccan okay it's OGX coconut oil and it's a weightless hydrating oil I love using this in my hair to add sheen to add back a bit of you know your hair needs oil the oil on the scalp actually is something that nourish your scalp gives it food make it grows healthy and your hair is not dry and looking brittle plus I use it in between to spray in between the wig cap that is on because I sew this wig on the hair onto a mesh whip cap with a little wig cap with wig cap Ooh, what's wrong with me so I will have access to my scalp and not only that because it's so freaking hot that my scalp would actually have air well room that it can breathe Secondly, what I use for my edges is going to be the Curls Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. And I love this, guys. Like, I'm almost out because I've used this a lot on my natural hair itself whenever I have my natural hair out. And a little goes a long way. Really, really a long way. The only thing with this is that when you put it on your edges, it's like it leaves this shine cast. But I think after the day goes by or if it's because I live in a humid country that the paste actually turns kind of greasy and so it actually turns out looking like hair oil i don't know but love it love how it smells it smells like passion fruit which it says that it's passion fruit scented so i totally love it i also go ahead my third item i go ahead and well actually my third and my fourth i go ahead and i use the trust me conditioner and the one that I use is the curl hydration for curly or wavy hair and I pour some of this into a container with water H2O never fails so I pour this into a container and I shake it up together and I spray it into my hair at night which I will be showing in part two of this video and I just simply just twist the hair and it makes the curl pops and especially at morning times I just do the same and then I just finger comb the hair and I scrunch it up like that and I'm good to go but all of that jazz will be in the next video and last but not least that I use when I'm actually flat twisting my leave out I use the Obia Obia Naturals, hope I'm pronouncing that correct, and it's their Curl Enhancing Custard. This is freaking amazing, guys. If you guys can go out and cop this, I've used this a couple times in my natural hair videos, which I've posted like probably a year ago. I will be sure to put it on my end videos at the end of this video if you guys want to go back and re watch those. But this leaves my edges blending with the wig, like it's so freaking amazing. It's not like look at that. You guys can believe that's my natural hair right there like that's my natural hair and what caused it to get that curl pattern this little baby right here this is like the magic superstar of all the products I've been using since I've had this hair installed I also have to yeah but that's pretty much it and this doesn't leave some people are saying online when I was going to purchase is that it leaves your hair with a white cast. It doesn't leave your hair with a white cast unless you're building it up. So basically how I use this is if I use it today, I don't reuse it in my edges until 2-3 to three days later because like I said, I don't want the build up. 
and I wash my hair every week because I'm starting to get back into my workout routine which I'm doing a Tai Chi class guys I'm doing Tai Chi so yeah so I'm expanding my horizons and doing things yeah but anyhow this is the end of this video and I hope that you guys love this video and please do not forget to like comment subscribe and share and I will see you in part two of how I prep this hair at night when I'm going to my bed flat twist and all and getting all jazzed up for you guys anyhow love you all